This is like uh, it's a little tough. It's a truth that women are not willing to face, and I totally understand why women are not willing to face that. It's it's hard. It's hard to know that you will be cheated on. It's it's hard to know that your vagina alone is not enough to satisfy a man. It's very difficult to accept that. I sympathize with that. But men are going to cheat. Broke niggas are going to cheat. Like ambitious rich niggas is going to cheat. Like You can have, you can have, um, a woman can have, let's say a woman has like a successful nigga and like he got money, he provided whatever, you know, whatever y'all call it, whatever makes y'all feel like you got the full circle or the wholesome. Let's say she's like fucking a broke nigga, right? Right. And she's like taking the rich nigga's money. And going on trips with the broke nigga and paying the broke nigga's rent. Guess what? That broke nigga is still going to fuck another woman. Even though he got this chick giving him everything, he's still going to cheat. You know what I'm saying? Because in the na- and I'm speaking on the perspective of men right now. In the nature of men, the whole. DNA of conquering and attaining women and how for the longest has been beaten to us that that's what makes that's a part of what makes you a man it's hard to overcome that so it doesn't matter a nigga is always he can have the best woman whatever she can be like she can be a nun she can be a slut she can be a a, a mother she can be all three women in one he's still gonna cheat you know so this is the taboo topic. What should actually be taught and advocated for, or what sh- what should be the discussion that needs to be had is cheat respectfully. That's what's important. Cheat respectfully. Cheat respectfully. Don't get caught. Don't get ca- don't get caught, bro. Like, for real, you got a woman, she's the mother of your kids, taking care of home, working as well, you know? You might be making more, but she's still working. She's not one of these women talking about 50-50, nah. Like, well, what's the other shit? Women talking about, you got to pay 100%. She's like, I don't agree with 50-50, but... I put in what I can to make this establishment like successful. Why the fuck would you leave messages in your phone that she can find about the mistress that you fucking? Why would you do that? Like the niggas that do dumb shit to get caught, it's okay if she fucks your best friend. That's a fact. It's okay if she fuck your best friend. If you got everything, this woman is doing everything. She being everything that you need. Every and anything. And you go ahead and go fuck another bitch and come home and you don't even take a shower and you lay next to her smelling like another woman. Now that's a fucked up nigga. You ain't got no respect for this woman. I don't condone that kind of cheating. I only condone a nigga that walk in and go in the motherfucking bathroom and take a shower. Put on new fucking cologne, smelling new, and you lay next to your woman. She know you done did some shit. But you hiding that shit well. Respectfully, nigga. Respectfully. If you're going to cheat on a good woman, don't get caught. 
respect the woman. Now, it's like niggas in the streets that's committing crimes. A lot of niggas is committing crimes in the streets. Law enforcement, they look the other, other way. This nigga moving pounds and pounds. He ain't shooting nobody. He ain't throwing no gang signs. Let's leave him alone. Now, the nigga that's walking around th- talking about, I'm Pyro, I'm Pyro, I'm Pyro, I'm Pyro, I'm Pyro. Them the niggas they hate. Them niggas doing the shit, ain't even hiding the shit, not making the shit look cute, not making the shit look res- respectable, going out on the internet. Yeah, nigga, I just clapped the nigga. Ooh, yeah, nigga. Those are the niggas they coming for. Those are the niggas they coming for. It's facts. If you're going to cheat, cheat respectfully. 